Psalms 103 and 3, Psalms 103 and 3 to 5. Jesus is the healer. There is nothing, praise God, there is nothing too hard for God. He says, I am the Lord that healeth thee. Amen. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Glory be to God. Nothing is too hard for God. If He created you, and He created this earth, and He created this universe, glory be to God, there is nothing too hard for God, is there? God has always been, always will be. Thank you, Jesus, who forgives all your iniquities. Well, I don't know what that word iniquity means. It means your sins. He'll forgive all of your sins. He says, I will separate your sins as far as the east is from the west. Amen. Amen. I'll remember them no more. Amen. Isn't that good news? Amen. He don't want you to remember me either. When you give a testimony, say, yeah, I was in sin, but I overcame it by the blood of the Lamb. I overcame it by Jesus. Amen. And I'm going forward. I'm not going to remember those sins anymore. They are corrupt. And when you're out there in that spoken tent, I despise it. <laughs> it's demonic. <laughs> you don't need to be talking about your past drunkenness, your past drugs, and your past women, and all this stuff. If you're in a discipleship ministry, praise God, you're putting all that stuff away from you. Amen? And you're going forward with God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He heals all diseases. All diseases. Who redeems your life from destruction. Who crowns you with love kindness and tender mercies. Amen. He, oh, he has such, such tender mercies for you. Who satisfies your mouth with good things. Glory be to God. So that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Amen. Amen. Oh, that day's coming. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And by the way, my back is getting better and better now every day. Hallelujah. I went through a time that was hurting so bad I couldn't even walk 20 feet, 30 feet. I had to sit down there. It hurt so bad. But God is renewing my back. Hallelujah. Genesis 3, 5. For God knows that when you see, when you eat up it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. God said that. Satan's tactic to appeal to man's covenant, the desire for more and for better. Amen? And that seems to be a problem today. More and more money, more and more material things. Bigger and better houses, bigger and better boats, and bigger and better cars and automobiles, bigger and better uh, churches. Let's be satisfied with bigger crowds of church in our own churches. Amen. Let's be satisfied with, with reaching out with the gospel of Jesus Christ. As the Bible says, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen. Let us be satisfied with that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Satan's tactics to appeal to man's covenant, his desire for more and for more and for better. <clears throat> You'll be like God, a failing of Mormonism. <laughs> a failing of Mormonism. Judas... Here are 30 pieces of silver. Go and betray Jesus. Betray Jesus. How many have betrayed Jesus today? King David, you need that beautiful neighbor lady. Oh my gosh. Thank the Lord he was forgiven. Amen. Amen. Remember, against all Satan's tactics and strategies, among your best spiritual weapons are the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Word of God, Jesus to Satan, is the temptation in the wilderness. It is written. It is written. It is written. Glory be to God. Romans 10 and 9 says, Confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and that God has raised Him from the dead. And you shall be saved. Amen? Amen. Believe. And again, I want to emphasize, we do believe here at Circle of Our Ministry, in the Word of God, in the Bible, we believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 
The three are one, the one are three. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a great mystery to some. But we believe, glory be to God, or we wouldn't be here. The ministry wouldn't be here. If you're watching this, you say, who are you? We're Circle of Love Ministry in Jacksonville, Florida, 13519 North Main Street. Telephone number 904 696 3105. 904 696 3105. If you'd like to send your tithe here, we could certainly use it. If you'd like to send a love offering, we could certainly use it. We are a faith ministry. We're not supported by the government, the state, the city. We're supported by a few Christians. Glory be to God. And that's what keeps this ministry going, God's people. If you need prayer today, I'd like to pray with you right now. I'd like you to put your hand on the part of your body that is hurting, that needs a touch from God. As you're doing this, I'm praying for you right now in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, you know by the Holy Spirit who these people are. And I pray that they might be healed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And you say, well, I've heard you say about salvation. I want to get saved. How do I get saved? Well, pray with me. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I repent, Lord, of my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I believe that He died on the cross for my sins. And I now ask Him to come into my heart and my life as my personal Savior. And I do completely ask for forgiveness for every sin I have ever committed. And Lord Jesus, I want to follow You. I thank You, Lord Jesus, that my name is written in the land book of life. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, so be it. Amen and amen. Write us a letter and tell us what God is doing in your life. Until next time, God bless you.